In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your AKS Plus. First thing we want to do is identify the firmware that the AKS that you're trying to update is at. To do so, you're going to connect to the Wi-Fi network that's created by your AKS. Locate the Rat Pack AKS Wi-Fi network and connect. The default password is quiet on set, all lowercase, no spaces. Once you've connected to the network, open up a browser and you're going to enter in the IP address of your AKS. Default IP is 10.10.100.254. This will bring you to our Rat Pack Constellation page. This is an overview of your settings, the mode, your power broadcasting strength, as well as your protocol settings. Uh, what we want to do is go to your device management tab. Now at the top of that tab, you're going to see two separate firmware versions. Your Wi-Fi module, which is 3.63, and your SAMB, which is 1.G. Here is where you're going to navigate to once you download the actual files to update your both, both your module and your SAMD. So now that you've identified where your AKS is at, and indeed the firmware does need to be updated, we are going to gather those files from the Rat Pack Controls website. So go back to your Wi-Fi settings, connect to your local internet access, and then you're going to open up another tab, navigate to ratpackcontrols.com. And once you get here, locate the tech support tab on top of the page, hover over it, drop down menu will give you access to firmware. Select firmware. Since I'm already logged in, I have access to all the firmware. If you have not created your credentials, it's gonna load a page that says, please sign in. Now, if you already created credentials, use those to sign in. However, if you have not, on the right side of the page, it will allow you to create an account. Just use your primary email, whatever password you desire, and make sure you save this for future firmware access. So, I'm here and I'm going to navigate to the AKS Plus with DMX in and out. I'm gonna select this file for download. And then when it's completed, it'll show up in your downloads folder. Now, if I navigate to download, it's going to show AKS Plus with DMX IO firmware. However, this is a zipped folder, so we're going to have to hover over, right click, and extract all. Now, the default destination is right there in your downloads, which is totally fine. So let's hit extract. And you'll notice if you navigate to your downloads folder again, you now have that same folder, which is unzipped. And that's how we want it so we can access the files inside. Now that you have these downloaded folders unzipped, we're going to go back to your web GUI. So first things first, connect to the Rat Pack AKS network. Go back to your browser, to the web GUI, and I'm gonna refresh the device management page just to ensure that I'm actually connected, which I am. Great. Go to your module firmware first. We're going to choose file, go to our downloads, the unzip folder, and you'll notice you have two files here, your disk image and your bin file. We are updating our Wi-Fi module, which is a disk image file. So select that, hit apply. After updating, restart device before using, okay. Now it's gonna go blank for a few seconds and upon completion, it will prompt you that the firmware was updated successfully. So do not refresh the page at this point as you will cause issues with the update and have to restart all over. So let it do its thing. And when it's done, it'll let you know. Okay, so firmware installed successfully. That's great. We're going to go back to device management. However, since you updated the Wi-Fi module, uh, you may disconnect and revert back to your local network. So let's go back to Rat Pack AKS, reconnect, and then go back to our device management. Now we can see here at the top version 3.68 is referencing your module firmware, which is great. That means it's updated. Now let's move forward to our SAMD. So we're going to choose file, locate your bin file, which says SAMD firmware here, 5.h. Select that, hit apply. Are you sure you want to upgrade? Yes. At the bottom, you'll notice it says updating firmware. Please wait, it'll prompt you when it's complete. 
At this point, it will reboot and give it about five seconds until you refresh the page and just ensure that both your Wi-Fi module and your SAMD are where they need to be and updated. All right, I'm going to refresh the page. Notice now you have version 3.68 and your SAMD is 5.h. So you successfully updated both your module and your SAMD.